What's up, Star Wars fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast here with an update video. And in my review of this Kylo Ren figure, I didn't think that the belt came off of this figure, and I was very hesitant due to the figure's age. But as a figure reviewer, I try to be as thorough as I can be with all of my reviews. So here is the belt off of the figure. The plastic had settled in place, so I was very worried that I was going to break this figure, but I was able to get that off without doing so. And I also wanted to point out that the shawl comes off as well. I was able to pop the head sculpt off of the dumbbell joint in the neck and remove the shawl after that. Now, that is risky for an 8-year-old figure, and I would not have tried that had this not been part of a review. And I also believe that this cloth part of the tunic is removable. Now, mine is very tight, and I don't want to risk ripping it, so I'm not going to remove that. But I just wanted to point that out, once again, to be thorough for this update to my review. Now that the belt is off, here's a closer look at the upper torso joint and its articulation. I was also able to make the hood fit better on the head sculpt when I replaced the shawl. I pulled it tighter when I was replacing that piece on the figure and I'm definitely happy with the way it looks. I am pleased to report that I was able to get all of the pieces back on the figure without breaking anything, and now this figure is ready for my display shelves. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below to my full review of this figure. Make sure to check out my entire Star Wars playlist, and if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll be back with more Star Wars content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.